Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. Welcome to Caver to the Core, Evan's Adventures. I am Evan, of course. Um, I am out here at my property. It's uh, been a really long time since I've been out here to do anything. I mean, like, I've came out here and checked it out and scoped things out, made sure everything was alright. Nobody was vandalizing my property, which they have been, but... Um, Anyways, I came out here to do a little bit of blasting. Um, I upped a couple of my charges. Um, I'm really hoping that it'll help uh, blast some more of the rocks out. I was thinking maybe I was just making them too small. So I made a couple bigger ones. And uh, I'm going to get down there today and see how it, uh, how it works out. Man, my banana tree is looking nice. Um... Anyways, we're here. Um, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like anybody else has been here. But anyways, I got my uh, trail cam with me. I got to go set it up. Um, as you all know, last time I had it out here, I actually got video footage of a, of a trespasser. Um, it was somebody I didn't know and I've never seen before, so I know they were trespassing. But, uh, to be honest, it really kind of aggravates me because I, like, I mean, yeah, there was a no dumping sign there. But look, I mean, my, son, my sign right there says, notice, for use, contact, and it has my email address. All right. All of my no trespassing signs that are posted all throughout my property. Like, I don't know if y'all can see the one on that tree just behind that blue tarp. But, I mean, they all say permissive use only. And it says for use contact and it and it has all of my contact info on it and you know i'm not a mean guy i don't care who you are if, as long as you come sign my waiver saying you know if you get hurt you can't sue me i don't care you can come out here and do pretty much whatever the hell you want as long as you're not destroying my property but uh to have people just come out and ignore all my signs and just do it anyways kind of pisses me off because i would have let them in the first place but anyways, uh, that's all I got for y'all right at the moment. Um, I am going to uh, get prepared and then go down into my cave and uh, try to see if I can make a little progress. So uh, I'll see y'all in a few. Back on to uh, the process of trying to get this here cave open. Um, so I have been recently using these. Um, these are just tapioca straws that I've made into charges. Um, not really going to get all into that. Um, but they haven't really been doing the job. Um, I don't know if you could see, well, I mean, of course you can, but this big boulder right here, um, I've drilled holes in it already before a long time ago when I first started doing charges. And, um, I also had these straws that fit perfectly in the holes. Well, I, I was testing this boulder out because it's the biggest one I have here. I mean, that thing's massive. Look at my bag next to it. I pulled that thing out of this hole all by myself with just two come-alongs and some rope and webbing. All right, and um, anyways, uh, it, it was a big challenge. And uh, I tried blasting it into pieces first, and that thing would not break up. It would not break into other pieces. And I was using these, but I was only filling them up to where the end of them was about where the tip of my fingers are at. So from there all the way back was the length of them. So I've made them, you know, about a third bigger. Um, and they're still not really doing any justice. Now, I have moved up to these, which the internal diameter is about the same as that. But... Um, they're a little bit bigger on the inside, but the outside casing is the part that I'm thinking might help because it's more uh, solid than the, than the straws are. So, um, if I pack this in there, it should have a better percussion with this pipe than with those straws. So anyways, um, also another thing is, is that I ran out of thermostat wire after the, uh, probably two years of, of blasting on my cave. 
the thermostat wire finally took a shit. It's got so many nicks and dings and stuff in it that I'm having trouble getting it to make contact and, and all that. So I went out and I bought some 14 gauge speaker wire. Um, that'll make do for the, uh, for the detonation process. So, um, anyways, I don't, I don't really have too much time out here today. A lot more than what I normally would. Um, but, uh, I'm going to get down in there and get started. All right, so here I am at the entrance hole to my cave. Let's see. Humidity is at uh, 75%. I can't really see the temperature from here, but I'll get it here in a few minutes. But, um, yeah. Work, 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 and more work. I mean, honestly, if I started blasting down here and I tried to open up the entrance hole, I could get more help. <laughs> Nobody wants to help because it's not enough room. But every time I get people out here, Nobody really wants to work on the entrance either, so I don't know what to do about that. Alright guys, so I am here at the entrance to my cave. Um, or actually I'm down in the solution tube, but... Um, so I was thinking I was going to end up blasting this part of the solution tube right here. Sorry guys, it's real tight quarters in here and it's really hard to stand. My neck really hurts today. Um, but anyways, uh, I was thinking about blasting away some of this to make that wider to be able to work out of it a little better. Um, and then go back there. There's that lip that sticks out of the wall where my finger's at. Um, blast that and then go back here and start blasting at that. So I could widen this whole area up more. At least make it where you could stoop through if you have to, you know. Um, but, um, everybody is more, almost everybody that comes out here to dig always talks about the entrance hole and how tight it is. So let me, uh, let me show you all the entrance hole again. Let me get my light off of it. So that's way up there, you guys. That's, uh. That's probably at least a good 20 feet above my head right there to where the light is. All right. Um, so right where my light is at, this huge boulder right here, I need to start blasting little chunks off of it and off of that because there's this island in there that I really need to get out. And once I get that out, it'll make the opening a lot easier to get everything in and out of because when we go to pull rock and all kinds of stuff out of here, it all gets hung up in that hole right there. It's really hard to get stuff in and out of this cave. So um, I might just actually work on that. So uh, it'd be safer for me because I'm here by myself. I don't want to, I kind of want to set a charge and then be out of the cave completely before I set it off. Whereas uh, most other times I would still be in the cave like I'd be standing up here and blasting way back there You know what I mean? So I'm a, so I'm like there's no chance that I'm really in harm's way um, but So um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna blast up here So I'm gonna set up up here. My packs already right there and I'm gonna start drilling my hole and I'll get back to y'all right when I'm about to start drilling. See ya. Okay, so look. These are the charges that I made. Um, it's a half inch tapioca straw. About uh, three inches in length. Which, you know, you subtract the hot glue from each end. Which makes it about, I don't know, two and a half inches. Something like that. Um, and I got thermostat, or thermostat, uh, resistance wire um sticking out of the ends for my contact fuses um so anyways this is um i normally use resistance or uh, thermostat wire man i'm getting them mixed up um but uh i had to go with some uh 
some good old Walmart speaker wire. So anyways, I'll make the connection for these. I've already got a hole drilled out. I'll have to clear it out here in a minute, but there's my hole. Um, this is just one little spot that I know I can bust out where I'm talking about is actually down in this stuff. It's much, much tougher limestone than up here. Um, but I, I, I don't know what to do, man. I got a fissure crack. You can see the crack right there that runs down. And you can go back up in there a ways about, I don't know, maybe a good another 30, 40 feet or so. And then you come to another little tiny chamber where you're stuck. But um, anyways, uh, there's another fissure crack in there with even tougher limestone. And uh, I've already set off a few charges and they always just blow back out the hole. So I don't know if there's any kind of a special technique or something that I can do. Um, the way I'm doing it, I know is legal, but maybe there's some legal ways on some videos that I could learn off of, um, cause I'm not gonna do it unless it's legal. Cause this is my property and everything. And I, you know, I don't want any trouble with the city or the county. Um, so anyways, uh, if you could find me a video, that would be great. So anyways, I'm gonna clear this hole out and uh, I'll set this charge and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll send you another video. And if All right, guys. So I've got my charge set. This is the cord right here that has the leads hooked up to it. I'm about to set it off. Um, hopefully this will widen the entrance some or at least start to. Anyways, fire in the hole in three, two, one, fire in the hole. Oh, that definitely sounded really good. Oh, hold on, you guys. Gotta get my wire situated, put my battery way out of the way. We got tons of smoke billowing out real quick. Definitely uh, sent some pieces flying. I heard them down there. I don't know if y'all did, but I sure did. Ooh. Man, look at this. It is so smoky. Anyways, we're going to let the smoke billow down and then I'll show you all the damage it did. It does a really good damage whenever it's just like lips of stuff. Like say if I wanted to blast that out, I could drill holes all the way down that right there and just blast pieces out. But it's not good enough for as much as I need done all at once. So uh, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll get back to y'all here in a minute when the smoke clears out. See you in a few. All right, guys. I went down there and I forgot to take some video, but I'll get some video the next time I go down. Um, I just set up another charge. Um, it is ready to go. All I gotta do is set it off. So uh, let's do this thing. Fire in the hole in three, two, one. Fire in the hole. Oh man, that took a bunch. It just ripped the whole cord down. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the whole cord came with it. It just freaking flung down there. That was pretty silent, but I heard a lot fall, so it must have been a good one. Let the smoke clear out for a minute. Oh, man. If y'all can see that fog, I'm sure you can. Oh, yeah, that's just crazy looking. It'll clear out in a minute. My cave's breathing, it's not breathing real hard right now, but it's breathing. Whew. 
All right, I'll be back in a bit to show y'all what it looks like down there. I only have one more charge left. I might, I might set it off. I'm not sure. I actually forgot to uh, pull my drill up, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'll get back to y'all in a minute. All right, guys. So I'm pretty close to it, but there's my drill. There's the solution tube. See that big boulder that my shadow is on right now? That just fell from right here. I, uh, you can see my charge hole right there. Um, it was pretty deep in there. Um, anyways, it blew a big chunk off, but like I said, it only works good when there isn't anything around it. If it was like a solid wall, it's not going to do anything. It never does. So, uh, I don't really know what to do other than, uh, open this up. And I'm going to start shaving off the edges of the fissure cracks down there. Um, but I guess since, uh, I'm the only person going to be digging on my cave out here, I better get to it and, and get something done because I can't keep procrastinating. So, uh, anyways, um, I only set off two charges today. I was going to set off another one, but I forgot to bring it down here. And I'm already tired from climbing up and down. Um, so, I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can get all of my newest videos. Yeah.